G'day, Aussie Contractor here. Um, today I'm getting started on a, a engineering project, so I thought I'd bring you along and um, show you what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is uh, building a drill, a seed drill. This is my current setup, an APV seeder, um, and just has deflector plates which sprinkles the seed on the ground in front of the roll and the roll rolls it in. It's okay for small grass seeds in good conditions, um, but I need something a bit better for cereals and and sowing grass seed in dry conditions um, where you don't get adequate seed to soil contact and moisture around the seed. So I'm building my own pretty much from scratch um, using some conoche parts as well. So I'll just get cracking and I'll take video as I go. Okay, right now I'm taking these conoche uh, disc units, um, stripping all the other hardware off it, these arms, uh, taking the discs off so I can replace all the bearings. Um, flap on the back and also cutting off the the top of this chute because um, the pipes will be fixed to here doesn't need to travel up and down like the the old corner shade did it, was, it had to be long so it could lift up and down on the, the solid sh pipes C pipes um, so slicing them off ending up with something like that looking like that much tidier and neater and here's one here, halfway through the process. Let's just slice it down through there. And these will be mounted on an S tine. They'll be cut about here. And mounted to the side of this. This piece here won't be there anymore, and then there'll be an arm going back to the press wheel here. Um, it'll be very similar to a sulky setup.
these here pieces of angle iron are going to form a frame that runs from from this part of the disc back to the press wheel. So I'm currently I've built a jig, not a jig, but a template. I'm currently just drilling all the pilot holes so they're all in the same place. I don't have to measure each one individually just to save time. And just drilling them all at 5mm. And then I'll come up back and open these up to 10mm. And this, these, this one's to 12 Here we are, partially assembled. I just have to weld the spring tines to the angle there. These will mount on a 50mm bar square. That blue stuff there. And, um, and I'll be able to, those square box will be on a pivot. So I'll be able to rotate the box forward and back like this which will lift this up and down thus varying the seed depth, seed placement. So I'm going to go have some lunch, come back I'm going to weld all these on and then uh, build the frame to mount them on. And, uh, I've got all the holes drilled out and I do have to go and get some bolts for these because that's actually one of the bolts that holds the tie into the box section. So, a couple more things to get. If you look, look down the line of it, you can see the point where the disc cuts and opens is directly underneath the, the press wheel. I'm a little concerned at, as this travels through the ground it's going to, because of the angle of the disc, it's going to want to push it this way. So this time will probably flex a little but it shouldn't be too bad because this is going into that mouth behind the power harrow. So it's nice and soft so there shouldn't be a whole lot of sideways pressure. It's not like it's direct drilling into hard soil. So hopefully that will be fine. It's not. I'll have to get a 40 mil of time. I don't want to do that because I've just spent all the money on them and destroyed them all. So I reckon it'll be fine. Tines onto the, the arm, the frame of the dual setup. And, uh, six down, 24 all up. So. Just using this pedestal fan to blow some of the fumes away. 
because these have a small amount of paint on them and I don't want to go grinding and cleaning them all up so I'll use a fan to blow the fumes off them that way I'm not breathing at all um, using this piece of acrylic because it's nice and flat this lay the, lay the tine on this on clean that down then when I line this up where it needs to be keep it all nice and flat Tack this side, turn it over, fully weld the other side, fully weld this side, and that way it's all nice and parallel this surface with that one. That way all the drill units will be sitting upright instead of sitting all cockeyed.